<laughs> Let's go see what I bought. <laughs> that hat is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's silly. Hey guys and how's it going so it is about six or seven months later and we've gone through the winter and this has been sitting on the trailer the whole time and it has not improved apparently i was hoping some magic happened but uh yeah she's definitely uh losing some of its soft rusty underbelly for us but i need my trailer <laughs> so it has forced my hand to continue on with this and that's what we're going to go do uh, i gotta get some tires on it so we can kind of get at least the doors open to get in it got to get rid of the bear who's uh definitely having a uh, dangerous problem so I'm starting to shed just a tad and that might make it a little bit of a mess trying to get him out of there and then we can get into the engine and see what we got see what is still good on this car what it needs and uh hopefully sometime in its future bring it back to life but keep the body you know then banging some dents out of it but keeping the the look of the body of the shell and the cop car theme and everything all intact and running it as it is but everything fixed on it that is definitely getting ahead of ourselves for now but that's the plan <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go see what we can do for i don't know you want to do chase tires maybe we'll get some of those on it get it up in the air a little bit get the door open Got to get to the battery in the back and et cetera, et cetera. Let's let the games begin. And I'm thinking white, white walls because, well, that's what I have. Let's go throw them downstairs and pop them on there. Bling. Before. And while we're in there, let's see if we can get... to go play with the adjusters and after look who's bringing sexy back <laughs> oh cats will make a definite improvement yeah sure all right let's go get rid of fluffy get him out of there now that we can get the door open so what kind of mess we can make with him Come on, buddy. Hopefully you're not full of, I think your arm's gonna come off. I think Rigor Mortis has stepped in too. Oh boy. Come on out. So it can make you to the dumpster. Three pieces. Oh boy. And a little trauma to the head. Hope his head doesn't fall off. Let's see if I can make it to the garbage can. <laughs> Well, he didn't bleed too bad. I was expecting to lose about five cubic feet out of him. I don't see anybody running around. Go we'll grab a shot back with all the holes from the mice. You stinking critters. Was a sunroof at one time. Not no more. They just bonded right over it. I get some of that cleaned out of there and oh, she's a peach. That's your heater channel. That might be an issue. Might take away from the structural integrity a little. Well, I cleaned out the driver's side and ran the shop back through it. Got rid of a bunch of the fluffies and we'll continue on and see what we got. This I threw in there. A friend of mine had it in his building. It kind of matches the theme of it. So 
So we'll keep that. That's part of a tailpipe. Let's see if get in. Go back that way. Let's see what we got hanging down below. I don't think that was going to save it. And we may find some critters in here. Hopefully dead. It does still have a VW battery in it. It's like it's starting to fall through the floor. We busted up trim ring from the front. What kind of taste of music do we got? Okay, school bus rides safety. Got a set of genuine German points. Probably worth as much as the car is. I don't know what that is. Condenser, double the price of the car. <laughs> yeah, body paint. Mm, I don't know. I don't dig their taste in music. What do you think those are? Another set of points. What do you say? <laughs> What's that? It's like some kind of old punch card. It's got the holes in it for a computer and for your uh, your maintenance record. Down below, what's left of the turmeric? See what we're styling for a hat. Some about sales forklifts. I think that is. You want it? You have it. All right, let me go get the shop back on this side. Go get this crap cleaned out of here. Let's see what we have for uh, back by the battery. We'll get that seat out of there. Apparently, more junk is coming out from underneath the seats, like the world's smallest ice scraper. We have a couple of cables, throttle cable or heater cable. Two of those. I'm afraid to stick my hand into there. <laughs> That's that one. Wax. That is more. Another one. Another cable. Even further into the bowels. Let's see what we get. Now we get it. Well, more fluffies. This is what the seat's supposed to sit on, right there. It's not attached on one side. Oh. I'd say before I contaminate my garage with all that crap, we can run the shop back through there, we'll get all cleaned out, flip the seat down, <laughs> and just keep on digging. That's vacuum jets, do I dare step on the floor? <laughs> Let's see if I fall through. What do we got? More fluff. Some speakers. It's another can of paint. hands yeah, I think we're in more points lug nut tool it might be the case or was the case for the tool bag it once was paint 
we got here? Wasagi. Old distributor cap. It's like the box with the points that we're in. And chomped on another one of those speakers. Oh, we got over here. Standard hubcap. Oh, and more vacuum material. What's that? Speaker. I'm attached to nothing. And a hunk of wood. <laughs> better. I think you get all Fluffy's DNA out of there, but enough to make it so that we can breathe anyway. All right, so we have under the hood, I don't know if that's latched or not, and then the rear engine compartment to finish cleaning out. We got in here. Oh, there's a, there's a live one. Let's get rid of that. Take a couple of pieces out of here, whatever we find leftover parts, we'll throw in the parts box. And let's get rid of, yeah, that thing. Think there's any alive? I'd give it a good shot. I think they'd probably be back by the engine though. You never know. But today is moving day. You. So much rot. It does. A lot of times it rots out what's underneath it. There you see. Too bad. The car needs to go out and get hit with the pressure washer at some point. I want to get all the, at least all the heavy crap out of it for now. Doesn't look terrible. Go hit it with the vacuum. Well, that's actually a little bit better than expected. I don't see any rot damage on it. Dirty as hell still, but nothing blowing through. They usually the the pissing crap is very acidic and it does a lot of damage to the metal. Pink. A lot of it. <laughs> Favorite color. Alright, shall we? Let's go hit the back. Oh, we got a wiring harness here that's shoot up. Get through that. That might be headlight wires, I think. Help if I show you. A couple of them are bare. At least that one is right there. That one, that one. Critters. And now for all the, where all the fun happens. That's a good one. At least the air cleaner's still on it. That saves crap from going down inside the carburetor. Hopefully. Looks like the choke is somewhat set too, so that closes the flap in the top. Let's get to digging. Let's get that out of there. We will be serving several Somebody up in it. Several eviction notices will be served today. It is solid. Not even, it's not even fluffy. Yeah, it's gonna be a I've seen bodies yet. I don't feel any. I get the strange feeling though. The fan might be a little full. <laughs> All right, so I gotta continue to dig that out. Oh yeah, it's up and behind it. I'll show you. So on a VW, the air gets sucked in behind the generator straight back because the fan on the back side it draws air in. Let me get you back there. That's where it is. <laughs> I think it might draw a little bit of crap up. Just saying. It's 
It's almost dirt. It's been there so long. I think I cleaned out good enough for now. Check out the bottom of the heater hoses, heater box, the uh, tubes going to the heater boxes coming off the fan shroud. They are just totally rotted away on the bottom. Again, it's all, all mouse piss, which is weird though, because everybody see much nest material up inside it. Let's go get that 10 mil. That's still on there. Usually that's the first thing that's gone, so you can pop the air cleaner off real easy. Let's get that 10 mil out of it, get the top of the air cleaner off, take a look in the carb, and I don't even remember if this thing turns. Go find out. Let's get that off of there. Sounds to get warm out. Four wheelers playing outside. That's full of, well, it's not full of oil. It uses oil for the base of it. Throttle moves. That's good. And now for the one that's the most important. It does turn. Nice. <laughs> Sounds like there might be something in the fan. <laughs> Don't know why. Let's see what we get for goo. And we got goo, it's low. I'm gonna throw a little bit more in there just to kind of top it off with some kind of crappy oil just for making it have a good level. All that's gonna get changed out anyway, but I'd rather have it spin and bring all the crap up floating in the oil and then drain it all out. So put oil on it can you tell does it show i got it cleaned out decent but even like around the spark plugs it's all still packed in so you know the engine's got to come out tin's all got to come off get cleaned out i can't get the plugs out right now i can but if i do just a bunch of crap's going to go down the plug hole and to be able to clean them out is just what i talked about you gotta get all the tins off so i want to get oil to the bottom end the top end of the uh engine and have it kind of splash around the cylinders you know wet the valve stems and and all that so my next best option is just go straight down the carb the car is fairly level let's give her a decent amount the car is fairly level and you kind of want it to go down and just run down to, to each cylinder if not uh, i'm actually gonna take a floor jack and jack this side up just a little bit because it looks like it's leaning slightly down this direction just to uh get some flow to the other side and then get a jumper pack we'll hook it to the battery leads see what happens and got her leaned a little bit the other way a little bit for that side that ought to make some smoke let's go plug her in let's see what we get and we just need that terminal and the battery Should we get any sparks? <laughs> uh oh, something's going in the front. Was it talking? <laughs> that was the switch on on the dash. <laughs> that would have been funny if a siren went off. Hey, what does what? I wonder if that's like the PA. That's making make noise. Nothing. I don't know. Just arbitrarily hitting. What one is gonna be like ejector? Oh, interior light. There you go. How's that? <laughs> Let's go do your thing. All right. So it's the one that turned on the musical horn. So you just hit anything. What do you do? Probably like 95 enter or something like that. Not working. Ooh. There you go. I turn it on. Power call siren. Did you just hit it? It's gonna scare the shit out of me. <laughs> All right, something's happening. Where's the mic? Where's the mic? Let's go see if that does anything. Testing, testing. Nope. I can't read. I need my glasses. That's PA right there, right? Yeah. Uh, 
nothing. Throw volume. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Gotta watch out for feedback. Whew. It's the bandit. All right, we know what that does. What else can we do? <laughs> Turn it down. <laughs> Quiet, Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. Check out the light. It died. That one died. <laughs> Someone's gonna think my building alarm is going off. <laughs> Alright, we're done playing with that. <laughs> Let's go see if the key does anything. It's gonna be on the other side. Call that Mitchell. Just give her a little. Turn. I think that might be upside down. Here we go. The lights. <laughs> All right. Go set the camera up in the back. Let's go spin her over. Like I said, I can't take the plugs out. I don't want to. Let's spin it over. Let's hear how it sounds. See if it's getting compression and any other noises. Did you hear it at first? There was a couple of valves that didn't see. You hear the, the puff of the air come out? And it seems like it, it went away after it cranked a little bit. One cylinder does seem a little on the weak side. When it's cranking, you can hear one. You know, you hit three fire and then like a, an open gap in the hit resistance. But they may uh, clear itself up when it uh, spins a little bit more. <laughs> we dump fuel down on it. Uh, I want to try to get underneath it, probably get a jumper wire on it with a button so I can sit over here and we can kind of hang out and have some fun together instead of me running back and forth asking you what's going on. So let me get that taken care of. That's my little trigger. It's just got two alligator clips on the end of it. You're just completing a circuit when you hit the button. I don't know if you could see on the starter. Where are we getting you? There you go. In that hole. That big wire, and then there's a, little, a littler one above it. You just have to cross those two, so you need an alligator clip on each one of those, and that should do it. And for spark, just leave the key on and off for uh, the coil power. Let's see if we get that. And now we have, hopefully, there we go. I'm just going to reach in it. Turn the key to the on position so that those guys are powered up. That's the generator and the oil light. And the coil should have power going to it. And what did you want? Just grab ground somewhere. And then opposite the condenser side. Here you go. We got power. Good. And then on this side, we should be getting an on off signal as the uh, the rotor spins. Let's go pop that cap off real quick and see what we got for a fungaloid. They put you in a stand, but the car moves around in the lift, so it shakes even more. All right. Let's get a little light on it. Yeah, they're they're coated. Yeah, man, focus. There you go. Yeah, so they're not going to make spark. I'll take a little bit of time with some uh, little emery. We'll clean that up and give her a spin. See if she makes spark.
I'm just gonna put a lead on the points. That's gotta be suspended. And then it touches a ground somewhere. And I'm just looking for open and closed circuit. Go use the so right now if you see the meter. Okay. How about me? You just have to suck it in a little. Now we're getting friendly there. So. Let's ground it. So each side of it is showing that the points are closed. Should we open? Okay. If I open it. Got a grounding issue. I know what it is. <laughs> Hold on. It's my test light. <laughs> Oops. It's grounded through there. There we go. You can tell this is a scripted show. So that's good. Points open and close. I say we just put it back together. Hope the coil's good and all that kind of stuff. We'll just give her a spin with some fuel on it. We'll see if it kicks off. We'll know we'll have spark. It's got to crank a little bit anyway. I kind of want to work that oil in. And the oil pressure to come up is the other part of it. So I want to spin it some. That's not the right setup on that. Oh, it should be on an angle. Oh, now I did it. Now I'm just wrecking the joint. I just want to test you, man. It's missing our clip on the backside, too. All right. We'll deal with meatball later. Pop in. There you go. Those points going to stay? Yeah. That has to stay isolated. Are we off the. Yes, we are off. You're not touching the rotor. Get some gas in her. So this whole fuel system, it's gonna be going to be beat. All of it is corroded and crudded and not going to pass the test of time without having some love to it. You can see it bleeding out of the fuel pump, the old fuel, and all of it's just beat. So I'm not that concerned about even the fact that it's still hooked up. But I'm gonna try filling the float bowl up. That's a horn. So that is the vent for the float bowl. Well, you could just shoot fuel in it and it bypasses the fuel pump and everything. Hey, all, all this is going to come apart anyway, so don't worry about you know, you're going to push some dirty stuff up into the carb. I fully expect it. So we'll give her that. That's, that was what? That was fall. And yeah, let's give her a little bit of just down the throat of it for good measure. The test light lit up is the is connected to the oil pressure switch so we can see from back here if we get oil pressure. I think we just go for it, see what we get. Ah, come on. <laughs> so close. Gotta wire off the starter. Once it goes, got spark. Give her 
one more squirt, I may have lost spark. I'm not sure. Let's open that up. So you can light the gas on fire. That's good. It's dropping pretty good. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. I'm going to go refill my fuel bottles. And we'll hit it again. Leopard bet. Leopard gear. Yeah. Level it a little more so that when fuel goes in, it kind of goes to both sides, like we talked about with the oil. I think it was favoring that side. Okay, I got to turn the key on. That would help. We should be ready to go again. Test light come on. Yeah, good. Another round. Come on. Good oil pressure. I think I might just let it kind of clear it out. It's got one good hitter. Unfortunate. Get her again. They're a little too cozy. Somebody talk to me. It make me full of plugs. I got them too, too foul. Too much oil in the beginning. But I would have rather prefer that. Anyway, like I said, I wanted the oil on the cylinders to kind of give a, a fighting chance for those components. But now I'm paying for it. Let's see what we got. Not wet, they're carboned up like crazy, but they're not soaked. So, uh, grab a compression test gauge, throw it down in that plug hole, see what we get. Let's see if you get anything. That's good. That's not in, I didn't even open the throttle. 130, that's good. <laughs> Must have, might, that might be the only good one, but. At least you know what one cylinder has enough to go fire on it. I'm gonna go through the clean the plug, throw it back in, make sure we got spark on the end. Turn the key back on. Just for shits and giggles. Before we clean the plug, let's go see if it has spark. So we'll know what avenue we're chasing. Uh, that should be good. Right on the gas, so we get it. <laughs> no spark. And the key is on. I don't think it's the plug. I think you lost it somewhere else. And after cleaning it, see if that did anything. <laughs> did you see it light up? <laughs> I'm still not saying it's great. It kind of like sparked once and died. intermittent. I am going to take, clean those points up a little bit better. It may be on those. Could have a back condenser too, but 
And let's go try a new plug. Has a little better heartbeat. Every time I can't find it. You're waiting for me to zap myself in my hand, aren't you? I know you are. Well, it's in the center every time, but it's weak. There's a joke there somewhere. Let's go throw one plug in. Because <laughs> all the other ones are just kind of caked in there, you know. I, I, really, I really don't want to uh, indulge, but we have to, we have to. I'm going to throw one plug in. We'll see if it'll kick on the one. If not, i got to do what i got to do, right? Let's go try it again. See if she'll go on the one and pick up the others. I'm not going to put any fuel in it yet. Just see what we get. Got around the one. <laughs> so I do that a couple of times, to get some fuel in it, and I'm hoping the other ones will kind of clear out. Let's back you up and reset. Oh, is it dirty? <laughs> Pull out a couple of nests. Let's go. Oh, sure. Sure. Step on my crate. Let's try it again. So I'm set my fuel bottle so that I can keep feeding it once she'll go. Again, here's my start button. I just need to be able to contort myself. more fuel. That was just the oil light flopping around. Test light. We're gonna get rid of that. Coil's warm. I've had it powered up for a while. I think it's using some of it from the bolt. We'll let you hang out right there. Nothing like a, a fuse to your bomb going to the carburetor. Shall we?
<laughs> she's a partner in the coffin. And I don't think she's going to go for us like we want, but it does run. Definitely not well. <laughs> that does live. Unless Yahoo. Let's see if it'll go. <laughs> That's running off the carb. That's what I'm putting in the flow pole. That's running on. They didn't shoot any down the center. I need air in here. Ugh. All right, so I went in further. That is plug number one. And I would say, first get it in focus. Mm -hmm. It is definitely. Oh, come on. That is definitely gooey and fouled. I have a feeling that maybe this was a problem that the car had when it was put away. It was having a hard time running. Because a lot of that's old. That's not new from the oil I put on there. It wouldn't be that cruddy and blackened. that has been burned on there for a while. What I did, it didn't help, but it did help the other components. So, get a fresh one in there and possibly we're going to start digging for the other two. See if I can get either one of them done and uh, see what we get for results. Hey, right, four new plugs. And it did put up a little bit of a fight. Had to tap one of them. See what we get. Uh, we'll try it with just what's in the flow pole right now. It's out of gas. That yeah, runs good. <laughs> Amazing what plugs can do. I gotta go air out. The spark is off. I have the key off up front. Let's go take the fuel line after the pump. We'll crank it, see if we get anything out of it. Oh my, I'm okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that gas. So, she's got a bunch of crap in her. Don't leave that hooked up. Very fine vintage. Let's give it another round. Got that fuel line tapped off. That car might be full of crap right now, but. I'm gonna see if it's gonna run off that float ball.
She does not want to die. She just wants to run around. I'm curious to see what it's got for stuff that works. I think we have enough horns though. <laughs> Go for it. That's actually good for the blades. Oh, mm. that's just great for the glass. Good idea. And should we have lights? And the others are hazard. Let's see if we get any lights. Nothing out back. Okay, one headlight. No parking lights. And went through them all. We have <laughs> it wants to go. Uh, there it goes. I didn't have any. That one's going. Nothing in the rear. I know that one harness is kind of chewed in the front a little bit too. Well, that fender's good. It's got a headlight and a directional. Do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? Yes, yes, I do. Not push our luck. Put a fuel filter in the line so that we can see if the fuel's going through it or if we run out. And how much it keeps gulping. Hopefully, it does not float out the top of the carburetor, but it might. That should be good enough to run us for a bit. All right, let's see if she'll run off the tank. for a few minutes. brake drum is stuck so I'm gonna jack the other side up we'll see if we can get it to go through the gears we'll see if the clutch pedal works too we'll go do that running fine
be able to see. It's pretty dark down there. Look at they got chains. There is chains connected. Let me get a light. You normally there's a stop on the floor, but considering there's no floor left where that would be down there. I actually hooked up. That's the brake pedal. Totally froze. Let's see if we get anything on the clutch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got nothing. <laughs> it's frozen. Go to the gas pedal break. It'd be the same thing. Yeah. The cable in the back's not moving. So everything needs to come out. Get fixed. Decroded. Hmm. How about we just kind of give her on the clutch a little bit? That's the cruise control option. Here we work it a couple of times. Spray some lube in there. I get that one working. So only one we need, right? All we need is a gas pedal, really. All right, I'm gonna go juice that up a little bit. Work that pedal. See what we got going on with the gas pedal. So I got a clutch. I need to help just a little bit. Good enough for now. The only problem is also, I fell through the floor. <laughs> that might be an issue. Hey, look, the brake line. Right out of harm's way. Gas pedal's next. Let's see if we get that one working. And that's a little bit of loving. Oh, you can bounce, not bounce around. I would definitely say the carburetor is flooded now. <laughs> it should. As long as it returns. <laughs> there you go. Kind of sort of a gas pedal. Every time I get in the car, I hit this and this crap falls down my shirt from out of the headliner. It's nasty. Nasty. Anyway, enough whining. So it should start from the key. It's probably flooded the crap out of it though. There it goes. Yeah. Let's see if we can run it through the gears. The other side is stuck. So I may try letting this tire down so that the other rim will want to spin so you can get the brake loose with the transmission. I gotta block up the wheels and stuff though because it's just kind <laughs> of sitting there. It just launch me across. Let's see if we can get that one to pop free. on this side though <laughs> oh well we tried the beating's got to start i was burning out on the other side though i can see the tire moving it is down all the way too
So directly inside there, what I hit is the emergency brake lever. And if, you need to go, if there's any plane, it can go. If it can go back, it'll make room. <laughs> I didn't think it was that easy. <laughs> it did seem like it moved though. It should be some play. Yeah, it's back further than what it was. And so that back wheel is still stuck real good. And we're gonna keep increasing the effort until we either break something or get it to move. One thing is the emergency brake cable adjustment, which is that. There's two cables that from that boot run down to the back one to each side. I'm gonna try backing it off and see if we can get some free play in there and move that brake lever in the drum back a little further and see if we can get the shoes to shrink down a little bit more. I got a bunch of lube and oil in there now too, uh, a rust breaker. I still don't think that's gonna do it for us. Found some more cassettes down by the shifter. Bellyman versus the Emperor Bling Bing. <laughs> I have no idea. Greatest hits of stealing the end. And we got the last one. Maximum weight loss. <laughs> okay. I think the car already has it. Let's see if we can get any more out of that. Made a noise. I don't think the cable's stuck. I, I don't think that was actually causing much of it. I say we fire it up one more time now that it's been sitting with oil in it. And we'll try to uh, actually strap the car down first. We'll put it in reverse and see if we can get the brake free one more time before we start getting more drastic. There's two brake adjusters right there and there. I try to adjust them and they are locked up solid. One of the things you can try and do, it's hard because it's on the trailer. You get in there with a punch and a hammer and sometimes you could get them to rotate a little bit, but I have a feeling that they're pretty, I, I think everything in here is pretty locked up. All right, cold start, let's see how it does. I wouldn't exactly say that's free, but at least it's turning. I'm gonna go run through the forward gears, kind of burn off some of that crap in the drum. I was hitting the emergency brake trying to burn some of the rust off. Whatever works, come on, turn for me. Ah, there you go. It was good enough to get turned it by hand, that's good. I wonder why it died on me. <laughs> it's two days later. For safety, I didn't want all the fuel coming out of it. It didn't. Uh, can it drive off the trailer by itself and not crash into anything? I think I have a little bit of emergency brake, but that's about it.
Might need a little bit of that. I don't think it did anything. <laughs> Maybe a little. All right. Enough for me. I topped off that gas can, so we're good for a good eight miles. Just gotta be cautious with the floor. <laughs> we don't put our feet down. I mean, wanna maybe try to open a window for a little cross ventilation. <sighs> Wonderful. And see if we can shut it. Good. Shall we? Where's your brake still on? I gotta go find my rice grips. She lives. There we are. Hey, we're dragging a little. At least it's not the battery side. It's just the driver's seat blown out of it. Oops, I think I rolled the bead on the tire. <laughs> Got a flat. Oh, the rest of them holding up. Just one, we got three more. 
will it start again? Made it to a little VW event. You could tell by what's going on in the back window there. I figure we'll roll in with a little bit of fashion. We should be able to hook this one up. And that should get that back light going. Maybe sorta of, kinda. Might be a love tap. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's go fire her up. Bring her in.
Well, guys, all the hard work paid off. We took home the gold. Well, it's a gold trophy anyway. And what else would you expect? Right? <laughs> That's going front and center of my trophies. All right, guys, with that, thanks for hanging out with me, having a little bit of fun, and we'll do it again sometime soon. Thanks for watching. See you then. Later.